Are you on a health and fitness journey and don't know where to start? Like you feel like you need to spend hundreds of dollars at the grocery store in order to afford the healthy lifestyle? Do you need a little bit more encouragement and motivation to eat healthy and go to the gym? And maybe you're looking for some quick, easy, and healthy new meal prep ideas? Well, <laughs> stick around because your girl got you. and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, girl, you're gonna wanna stick around because 2022 is the year that we are reaching all of our faith and fitness goals that we have. If you are returning, hey besties, oh my God, I need to shout y'all out really quick because let me tell y'all something. Y'all have been showing out, okay? My comment section has been blowing up. My subscribers have been blowing up. And honestly, I am just so truly grateful for you guys. And I had to come on here today and I really had to shout you guys out because y'all have really been showing off. I have spoken to so many of you this past week and a half and I am just so incredibly blessed and thankful for you so wherever you are i am giving you the biggest hug right now because you guys have showered me with such wonderful positive comments i'm so happy that i could be a blessing to you and your faith or your fitness journey listen we're just getting started okay we're only in january of 2022 and i'm just so excited to see how god is going to use this channel i pray that i can continue to be an inspiration to you guys a blessing to you guys listen whatever you need from my channel take what you need and run with it apply it to your life like i said i am just trying to get my life together and I just thought I would document along the way, but <laughs> we in this together now. We are in this together. So as you can already tell by today's title, we are gonna be getting into a very affordable grocery haul and then a meal prep with me. I'm gonna be featuring two. That's four. That's definitely four. I'm going to be featuring two recipes, a lunch and a dinner recipe. So I will show you guys how I prepare those and how I meal prep them. I'm definitely a creature of habit. So if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations for things that I try, let me know because I don't know how many times your girl can eat salmon. I mean, I could pretty much eat it every single day. I wanna produce more meal prep content that like is very diverse in the food. So if you guys have any suggestions, drop them down in the comment section below. But yeah, so we're going to get into this affordable grocery haul. Listen, I've been getting a lot of comments about people saying they don't know where to start or they don't have enough money. Maybe you're a college student or maybe you're just on a budget like I am because you know I'm just a teacher you know <laughs> we make enough but you know funds can kind of be tight sometimes so I completely understand if you're on a health and fitness journey and you feel like you need to buy the best of the best thing everything organic everything all natural there are ways that you can cut costs and today I'm going to show you how I do that so I spent at the store about $47 I believe it was like $48 or $47 at the grocery store so we're just gonna round that up to $50 because you know that's the math teacher and me roughly we spent about $50 at the grocery store today I got a lot of requests in my comment section if I could do more affordable grocery grocery hauls because some people can't spend a hundred dollars and you know what I'm one of those people but I do it anyway <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway, but I definitely wanted to provide this content for the people who specifically ask because you know what, without y'all, like, <laughs> I'm nothing. Today, we're gonna get into this mini affordable grocery haul and then we're gonna meal prep and then I'll talk to you when we're done. Okay, y'all, so this is everything that I got from Trader Joe's. It does not look like a lot, but remember, we only spent $50, so it is possible for you to eat healthy while staying on a budget. I might do a series where I try to reduce the amount I spend weekly, so maybe I'll, my next challenge will be $30, but we'll check it out. So let's just go through everything that I got. I got two bags of spring mix two containers of butternut squash I picked up this buffalo style chicken dip actually fire like honestly delicious do yourself a favor and go get this Let's look at the calories on that 60 calories per serving which is awesome I did try this right when I got home from the store I just put it on some celery and it was delicious but I did find that it wasn't spicy enough for my liking so I just added some of my own Frank's Red Hot but it was delicious I also got two packets of these chicken breast tenderloins a bag of the fancy berry medley I got a big bag of the basmati rice because when you buy things in bulk you find that you won't have to buy them every single time you go to the grocery store so I got this big bag and this is gonna last me for a while because I don't really eat rice that often. So I won't have to buy rice for maybe like a couple months or so. I also got this crumbled feta with Mediterranean herbs. I got this, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like the serving size on feta is stupid. Like 28 grams is literally like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like enough but you know what we're gonna make it work we've got goals to meet so we're going to honor the serving size on these i got three bags of these broccoli florets i got one thing of almond milk this is the unsweetened vanilla i also got my favorite power crunch bars i bought five of these but i actually had one of these yesterday i'm just now filming this grocery haul today because i actually now need to cook i got five of these i got three in the peanut butter fudge flavor and two in the triple chocolate flavors they are so so bomb you definitely need to give these a try they're like literally a dollar 29 a piece so really i spent like maybe six dollars in total which is awesome so this is everything that i got so girl let me just say this 
We're not making excuses. We can buy food, healthy food, for a reasonable amount of money. Listen, you don't have to go crazy right away. Start buying little substitutes that you can implement here and there into your diet. Don't just cut cold turkey, because girl, it don't be working out like that. But think about ways you can cut costs or even just reduce the amount of like food that you have in the house, because sometimes you overbuy and then you end up throwing it out, because baby, one thing about me is that I would always buy like four bags of spinach or spring mix, and I would throw two of them away, and that is not okay. So make sure that you are just planning out your budget, planning out what you're gonna be having for the week. I definitely recommend writing out a list, writing out what you're gonna be having for the week, and then also your grocery list so that you don't go crazy. And definitely allow for yourself to have some snacks. I have some crackers in the house and some celery and carrots in the house, which I'm gonna have this with, so I didn't have to buy that. I also have protein bars to snack on here too. But if you feel like you need more snacks, definitely do that. Just make sure that you remember, don't go overboard because one, it can get costly. And two, you don't need all those snacks. Get like one or two snacks a week that way you don't get bored and switch between the two of them all right now that that's done let's get into a meal prepping
morning. I basically just wanted to come on here and just share with you that for breakfast, as you saw in this grocery haul, I got some almond milk and some frozen berries. I will be having protein shakes for the rest of the week. I already have protein powder. I didn't account for the cost of the protein powder because I didn't actually buy it today. Usually protein powders can run anywhere between $20 and $50, depending on how bougie you want to be. I just got a basic protein powder from Target. It was like $22. I got like the big size and I'm just going to be having that for the week. So that's why I didn't prep my breakfast, but I did buy some items in my grocery haul that were specifically for breakfast, even though you did not see me meal prep breakfast. So this is basically going to be the end of the video today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this mini affordable grocery haul and meal prep with me. Please make sure to drop any suggestions that you have in the comments. I am always down for suggestions. I'm always down for recommendations. So please drop them down below. You know I'll get back to you because let me tell you something. One thing about me is that I'm gonna answer these comments because we are really friends. Y'all are really my besties. Y'all are my family. And I'm just so grateful for all of you guys. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share because we're trying to grow this page, grow the message, grow the family. Please be sure to put on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time your girl drops another video. And until next time, babes, I'll see you in my next. <laughs>